This week on Archer's Choice. We have archery, Angie, Aubrey, arrows, antelope, and attitude. Can you make another one, Santos? Uh, no. This is my first antelope hunt. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're heading to Wyoming, and that's not Ralph. No, a little bit more hair, I'd say. I would say a lot more hair. Yeah. So this week, it's the girls' week. Aubrey and I are gonna go hunt with Angie, forget Scott, at Table Mountain Outfitters, and we're gonna go hunt antelope. Now, I mean, the guys are in camp. They are, but girls should always come first. Of course. So they I'd can do say. their own show next week. Yeah. Right? Sounds about Don't right. Don't you think? Yeah. But this is Aubrey's first antelope hunt. So we've got lots to share with you guys. So we're heading to Wyoming with Angie, Table Mountain Outfitters, Aubrey, Antelope, Archery. <gasps> That's a lot of A's. It is a lot of A's. All right, let's just get going, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> So our fall tour starts. First stop, Bella's in Lone Pine, Colorado. We're gonna do a, an appearance there. And then we head north to Cheyenne to meet up with Scott and Angie. And we'll be antelope hunting in about 30 some hours. We are here at Table Mountain Outfitters. We just pulled up. Almost ran Angie over in the truck on the way in, but that's okay. She gets her runs in, you know, she can run for me. Can she run for you too then? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say no. so. I'm not running. You just keep running, Angie. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. 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 I don't Trouble. care, I'm not gonna Mama with a gun. <laughs> it's Mama with a gun. Oh now and then there's there. big guy. Hello there. <laughs> How you doing? Yucky and sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> After catching up with Angie, co-owner of Table Mountain Outfitters, RJ and Aubrey get their Hoyts unpacked and set up to get sighted in at the archery range. She's all set up. She's ready to kill an animal. Twenty is this, these two right here. Thirty is that bear. Forty is the deer. Thank you. Be ready, antelope. Here we come. With this being Aubrey's first antelope hunt, Angie gives her an overview on how to judge antelope and what to look for in a mature animal. It's always a good question. Okay. If you like something, I don't care. This isn't any antelope tag. So what that means is buck to doe, you're good with whatever you take. Now when it, a reasonable buck comes in and you like it and you think it's pretty, by all means, take it. But if you're wanting to judge it and know what's kind of average, if you look at their eyes, the width of their horns is about the width of their eye. Okay. That's decent mass. And then you want to have the prong at or above their ears. Okay. And so if you have that, the prong is what you're kind of gauging everything off of. And then the curl from there is just bonus over the top. Cool. I'm so excited. So am I. Kind of fun. I can't wait. I know. Awesome. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait. We're going to get ready to go out to go antelope hunting. It's my first time, and I'm first up because RJ is so generous to let me go first. Um, yeah, so we're going to go get breakfast and pack our lunches for the day, and we'll sit out there and hopefully get antelope. Look, we have paparazzi. 
What are we gonna do, guys? You making everyone's sandwiches? Uh, no, you gotta make your own sandwich. I'm making mine and Ralph's sandwiches. I was gonna say, like, you make one for one for the kids, one for yourself. No. Sorry, Eddie. Better luck next time. <gasps> really excited. I like sitting in blinds, but I've never sat in one that's really hot, so we'll see how I feel later on. But I'm excited. Go, off we go, off we go, off we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. This segment was brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Archer's Choice is brought to you by Bass Pro Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Alps, exceed your expectations. Browning, the best there is. Cold Steel, anytime, anywhere. Cyclops Lights, get out of the dark. Easton, made in the U.S. since 1922. Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt. Hunter Specialties, serious hunting tools. Well, we're in, we're in the blind now. We're set up over a small little water hole. We got cows all around us. The sun's just coming up now. And RJ's my camera guy and today. He let me go first. So those are, uh, now we just sit and wait. <laughs> wait for the animal to come in. Yeah, it'll be good. Lucky for Aubrey, the antelope don't wait long to make their way in. We just had um, a small spike and buck come in. He kind of ran off. And then we had two nice bucks come in. And they kind of walked around in front of us for a little bit. And then they sort of ran off. They're about a hundred yards from us right now, just kind of waiting around. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. It was awesome. Those two bucks came back in. They're not too sure if they want to come in completely or not, so they're just kind of staying a little too far out. The one keeps going up and down the hill. Now we have one kind of sort of in the back of us, so we just got to kind of watch our movement and hope for the best. During a break in the action, Aubrey and RJ take a lunch break of their own. As the afternoon heats up, so does the activity Cows and antelope alike make their way into the watering hole, putting Aubrey and RJ on high alert. So we have seven antelope to our right right now. There's two bucks in this spike. They're kind of starting to go towards us since the cows are moving. Yeah, The very same pronghorn Aubrey spotted earlier in the day soon follows suit with the others and makes an appearance. Here comes the guy. Here comes our boy. Looks like it doesn't want to get out of here. and it was awesome, and then we saw him come down. Looks like it's a pretty good shot. Nice! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Look at that! That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Fantastic. Heck yeah. Here, come on. Look at it! So cool. Awesome. Okay, let's go see it now. Congratulations. Thank you! Wow! I'm so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my. That's awesome. 
We had a beautiful shot on Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, awesome shape. He's pretty narrow and tall. Yeah. Got that heart shape going. He was kind of by us all morning in the afternoon, and there was a wider guy. Uh-huh. But this guy kept coming in, and I got him. Awesome. <laughs> So cool. Thank you so much of again, course. guys. <laughs>
Yeah, I got a pen. That's a stud. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dandy. I couldn't pass him up, dude. He looked like a no, good one on the hill. No, you can't pass that up. No. There, dude. That's a stud. But he's a gorgeous animal. Congrats, man. Nice. Yeah. Buck. Yeah, yeah, check that out. So he was like looking at me. I stuck my arrow right there, awesome. but he's doing like 85 miles an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> you think they go fast until you see him after the shot. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> sign and date and flip it over and sign again right there. This segment was brought to you by Spy Point, the world's number one cellular trail camera. Archer's Choice is brought to you by NAP, Hunt with Confidence, Muddy, Serious Gear for Serious Hunters, Spy Point, connected to your passion, True Timber, Almost Real isn't real enough, True Glow, when brightness counts, count on True Glow, Tracker, built for love of country. Archer's Choice is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Eaten. Each one of us have taken one peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a little bag of Fritos. We saw one deer and some antelope way, way, way far away, and we saw a whole bunch of black cows behind us. We will just continue to sit here and wait. All right, guys, what we've got here looks like five bucks, about 1,600 yards away or more. Over, yeah, 2,000 yards away. They came over the horizon, and now they're just feeding there. Just watched two antelope come walking from far away all the way around. They may skirt around this side behind us and try drinking water because they can't get water on that side. I drew my bow back early because I didn't want a bunch of movement when they came in close. He got to in front of us. He was slightly quartering to me. I mean, he was quartering to me with just a slight turn. I aimed for the spot here. He got up, ran, and he's right there. We just got to give him time. Just got to give him a little bit of time. He's right there. He's going to go down. We just have to wait. Okay, so we just uh, recovered Matt's buck. Yeah. Head down the ridge over here and check on Ralph and Vicki. Uh, she's got one. Hit over here and take a look and see what's going on. Well, we got him. <laughs> here at Table Mountain, you guys just rock. You guys, you know what we're supposed to do. You know, TJ, I can't thank you enough again. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you everyone at Table Mount Outfitters for this. RJ and Ralph were up. Aubrey got hers yesterday. I can't ask for a nicer goat. Old mature goat and you said
because the teeth he's got the cupping. Yeah, all big teeth, and he's a lot of cupping on the tops. Good old mature goat to take yeah. out. Nose, real black nose on him. Yeah, he's got really black patches. Beautiful. Thanks again, bud. Congratulations. Well, congrats to you too. Thanks. <laughs> now, how would you think? First antelope hunt. Insane. They're finicky. That's yes. for sure. I was told not to look into their eyes, which yes. was very weird. No, that's good. That's, it's good. You should yeah. look into their eyes. Yeah. It that's threw me through a loop, but it was fun. It was, it was fun. fun, wasn't it? I mean, it's, it could be long days in the blind. Yes. Or not hot. so long and hot. <laughs> but congratulations again. Thank that's so awesome. Much. Now, I mean, next week the guys get to show their hunts. So whoop de do. You know how it is. It's not that exciting. It's not that exciting. But hey, they are going to be hunting with Table Mountain Outfitters. And as we were, and Angie, Scott, all the guys there at Table Mountain Outfitters, we want to thank you guys so much for everything you do for us. And again, I'm so proud of you. What a thank great you. antelope. First antelope for Aubrey. Lots of A's going on there. Angie, Aunt Aubrey, antelope, antelope. arrows, archery. Got it all contained right in there. <laughs> and we want to thank you guys for watching this week. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. She hit it on the very first <laughs> try. Woo! Give me fist. Come on. Give me Woo! fist. Woo! Yeah, give me fist. But whatever. Woo! Yes! We rock. Girls we rock. We do. We, we do. Really do. Closed captions brought to you by Wounded Warrior Outdoors, providing wounded service men and women with therapeutic outdoor adventures. What's the, what's the voiceover? Like you talk oh, over you her, her and she talks over behind her head. <laughs> If uh, Vicky and Ralph don't get any, you can use it. You can just say they shot this one. <laughs> no. That's your job. It's my favorite part. Get my with it, would you? Okay. <laughs>